Hi, this is Mad Dog again. This time we're reviewing. Now, Mad Dog's classic TV reviews go to any length, any place, any period. Today, I've now watched all of very old show, 1996, 2010, when Ricky Gervais, pretty good actor who's helped produce and write the sketches. A man after my own eye would appear. And, um, yeah, the shows were pretty good. I started off very slow and very boring in season one. I mean, I watched the whole damn show. And, yeah, it was all right. It's so the one I'd say would be a good thing for you to watch if you like that kind of humour. Alternate humour is stuff that I try and do. Uh, a number of other people, I'm sure, do. Modern comedians, I think, roll on all of the latest you know you've got so many different comedians out there i mean it's funny it's not ha ha hysterical funny but it is funny i mean i enjoyed it i, I will not deny it. it was a very good show you know i'm now going to look now i ain't done my research admitting i haven't done research on this i know they've done a movie which i'm going to be reviewing tomorrow but i probably won't put a classic unless it's worth it I only put stuff that I think is worth my say, my review, for people to hear. I mean, you know, I don't mind doing this. And it was a very funny film. I mean, he done some strange... And he actually has actual actors. The basis, though, I'm still trying to grasp the shows that I saw prior to having the series. It does get a bit confusing because... That's making me wonder now, did they do more than one season of this show? I don't really know. I'm going to review this and see. I don't, I can't say to you honestly that it, that there's another season. But I can say to you that it was well developed, well written and well performed by every party that was involved in it. That's. You know, such greats like Ben Stiller. Of course, uh, Ross Kemp. The new Wogan of the uh, millennia. But with respect to all those, you know, there's many other actors in there. And Ricky Gervais, of course, you know. He, were, he was so little known for a while. And now suddenly out of the blue he came. And then here he is. He's done, his, he's done a number of things. He's done a number of adverts done his show or more and it's not too bad i've got to say it is very good it's all right it's well done it's viewable and it's enjoyable light-hearted i wouldn't say it's ha ha hysterical oh my busting my sides i would say yeah it's light-hearted light-hearted comedy and the bbc i think i'll give my respect to them they backed it. I wish they'd back some of my stuff because it might be of use to us all. I'd be able to release some of the decent stuff that I've done. Not just this kind of stuff. And obviously the mad hog presents. We ain't talking about that one. Or the little sketches. We're talking about all the other stuff that I have done. Which ain't very often. Well, it's a lack of time, being honest. Lack of time, lack of funds. And, you know, many things, many people get offended by what I do. But I don't mind. We're not here reviewing me. We're reviewing extras. Season one, at least. All of season one was a very good show. If you haven't seen it, yeah, give it a look. Put your take on it. Have a look. See what you think of this very early, this very early show. And then... Yeah, you might find it quite amusing. I mean, it's not to everybody's humour. I wouldn't say some of the sketches, some of the scenes that are within this particular thing, they're a bit cold-hearted. They're funny in their own way, but they are a bit cold-hearted in also another way. I mean, you've got Ricky Gervais's character building, trying to come and act it. You know, I'm not going to say too much. We'll just use the basis of hey man i've only just started seeing it no we'll use the basis of that but so far what i've you know i've seen the whole of season one and it weren't too bad it picked up i was surprised i weren't happy with the way it ended i thought they could have done i thought 
Ricky and his co-writer could have done a little bit more with the ending on that one. But I'm not complaining. It was all right. It was watchable and enjoyable. And that's why I'm curious to see, is there a second season? I'll have to look on that. And if there is, again, I'll give you a review on that, if you're interested. I mean, I do reviews on everything. I mean, I've done The Preacher. I've done Team Wolf. That series has ended now. Six seasons as it's ended. I was surprised. I didn't think it was going to last that long. You know, now we're going to go into older classics. Oh, God, not old classics. Old classics. We'll still obviously carry on with the STD season one anyway. But I said it's getting tougher with that one. That's a tougher call. You know, and I still have yet to let you all know the Hindi. You know, the Hindi viewers out there. Uh, my proximity of Hindi and my little of understanding is I'm now about four films behind on my review but it's just a lack of time and I'm not having much time to do things yeah sure I go to work I can do these reviews at work but sometimes it can be a bit awkward because I go into work and I'm literally in and out you know you don't get a lot of time to do a great deal in my current vocation so that's why I take time out now and do it now I mean the review that I'll give you today is the the review of, you know, Mad Dog's review, classic TV review of season one, complete season one, of the extras. You know, he was in The Office. Uh, I've got to be honest. The Office weren't one of my favourite shows. I mean, he was in that and, I don't know, it didn't It didn't sing to me. It didn't, this one sings to me because I can associate with his humour. You know, I'm quite surprised. Here I do my alternate union, uh, my alternate humour. You know, and he got this Ricky Gervais and his other co-writers and producers sharing that same sort of opinion and that same sort of approach. And I'm thinking, wow, maybe it ain't so new, but I don't mind. I'm still enjoying it. I hope that my viewers out there do enjoy it. I've lost people and I've gained people, but I lost and gained. You know, I don't try and offend. I all do it in great fun. I do do serious stuff, girls, but... I have to add a bit. I can't do a complete... I cannot do a complete series that's completely straight and boring because it's just not me. All I have to do is do some a little bit of twisting. I mean, like, oh, I didn't thought that the DVD weren't working, but it did. It nearly took my fingers off. I mean, I've got a very dodgy sharp DVD player. It is sharp as buggery. But I still got my fingers and I was able to watch all of season one of that current show of the extras, which was good. I'll get back to you when I find out more is there. I mean, gold. by all means, if you know there is more than one series, let the old dog know. And then we could probably look on upon it. But things are going to be changing soon with this show as well. I'm... Going to be doing a little bit more with it, but not at the moment. I've got to move on a bit with doing my other projects and work with my other projects. I'm still currently writing so many different things. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of things you're not getting to see. But I, I have no choice but to do them. And it's all space. And my phone just bleeped. Not my phone. My light. <laughs> How we get visited by some strange ghosts? I don't know. I have to do another show on that another day. If I could be bothered, if I don't get scared to death and become one myself. Anyway, back to the serious nice of this insanity. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it's been useful. But I said, the show is good. I mean, it's entertaining. And it's quite surprising some of the places where he's actually filming, where he's actually doing his show. I mean, wow. Some places I wouldn't even think he could go, but there yeah, he's done it, he's done it, he's gone to these places. And it, it packs up as a very well, nice, well done show. Well, well made, well filmed, good allocation. A uh, location, sorry, not allocations. <laughs> Talking about work again. <laughs> good locations. And they seem all right, the bunch that are with him, these extras that are with him, you know. And it's quite nice to see actual actors within that show. I mustn't, I mustn't say too much because it could spoil it for you if you haven't seen that show. I mean, the show is a recommended. I wouldn't say 100%, but, 
you know, each to their own, because each one, you know, all of us have got different opinions on how humour should be and what we view as funny or what isn't funny. Some of the stuff is a bit hard and a bit cold. But set that aside, as a whole, it's not a bad, it weren't a bad old series. And, you know, if there's a Caesar, if there's a series two or more, I'll have to view them and have to see them. You know, because they are good. I'd recommend, I would recommend it if you haven't seen it already. Just give it a check, put your take on it. Respond to this if you want. And, you know, it's a very unusual one for me to do, a classic TV of a comedy show. Or something that's quite close to the way that I think and the way I look at the world as a whole. You know, it's quite true. The world as a whole is a bit cold, it's a bit heartless. And it can be abrupt. And it can be very hard. Acting as a whole is hard anyway. But anyway, I'm not going on waffling about all that sort of stuff. I just say this is a very good show. Extras, season one. If you haven't seen it already, buy it. Watch it. Streamline it. You might find it quite entertaining. And enjoy if you do. If not, I've said my take. That's a mad dog's take on it. Until next time, if there's a next time. And well, there will be a next time, that's a guaranteed fact. Oh, God, you're saying, oh, no, not again. Oh, God, no, not really. Oh, Lord. <sighs> we don't want to touch the religion, though. Well, we might. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to touch that. No, it might get messy. Until the next time or not, you take care of yourselves. Thank you for listening. Enjoy, be safe, and be lucky. Till then, bye. Oh, get back to that again. Take care now. Bye now. Be safe.